Wisdom Teachings from Archangel Michael, June 2023, by Rana Vazane, Sacred Scribe. Open Letter to Ascending Star Seeds. Beloved Masters, as you learn to tap into the cosmic records within the higher realms, you are beginning to broaden your awareness of your cosmic lineage. The process of reunification is well underway. Therefore, many faithful servers of the light are now striving to reclaim the many facets of their divinity. A part of our mission is to help you remember your divine heritage and to also help you understand the unprecedented process humanity is in the midst of at this time. My brave ones, you have been separated from your soul family for many eons of time so that you could experience and fulfill your own unique divine mission. You have experienced other universes, sub-universes, galaxies, and civilizations beyond your wildest imagining. As you came forth and began your journey within this sub-universe, your experiences became more focused and detailed in preparation to an even greater fragmentation of your essence so that you could experience the density of the newly created galaxies and star systems within the lower realms of light. As you are aware, those of the angelic kingdom were designated as the messengers, protectors, guides, and teachers for humanity by our Father Mother God. When it was ordained that a contingent of archangels and great legions of angelic beings would accompany humanity into the unknown regions of diminished creation within the young galaxy called the Milky Way Galaxy, there was a mandate sent forth that some of them would have to greatly fragment their essence in order to fulfill this mission. Therefore, these wondrous beings of light agreed to have their white fire god seed atom fragmented into greatly diminished soul sparks of god light. This was necessary so that they could be embodied on the earth plane of consciousness during the unprecedented experiment in duality and polarity. They would also be given the gift of free will that was to be bestowed upon humanity. This is why there is such a vast number of souls who are of angelic lineage and why there is also such a great diversity of wondrous beings of light from other universes who were chosen to become the avatars and shining spiritual examples for each great era embodied on earth. These phenomenal beings were sent to the Andromeda Galaxy, which is the closest galaxy to your home galaxy, the Milky Way Galaxy. There are many very advanced, mentally focused planets and civilizations there and many of the legions of light and light warriors came from that galaxy. The sacred triads of the angelic legions and the great avatars who were to embody on the earth plane to guide humanity all spent a very long time on Andromeda preparing for their mission in your galaxy, solar system and on earth. During their resting and rehabilitation in between lifetimes for this special group, most often, these star seed soul fragments return to the Andromeda Galaxy home base, which was created especially for this group. When they are ready, they are given their next assignment. Time after time, they have returned to the Earth plane to assist humanity in their great struggle to release themselves from the shackles of the past and to gain spiritual freedom once more. Those earthly souls who are still functioning within the limitations of the third, fourth dimensional environment cycle into the higher fourth dimension for rest and rehabilitation. They then spend time on one of the seven major planets of your solar system. Their lessons, training, and focus will be on the most important attributes, talents, and qualities that are needed to assist them to return to balance and harmony within the limits of universal law, of the existing dimensional realm in which they are attuned. Yes, to the physical eye, these planets may look lifeless and dead. However, in various ways, they all resonate to the frequencies of the fifth dimension or higher, and they are all teeming with life. They are lush, beautiful and bountiful. It is time for the Earth to catch up with the rest of the solar system so that all may move forward on the spiral of ascension. Those whose soul song resonates to the highest three sublevels of the fourth dimension will spend their in-between lifetimes on the five higher frequency planets of your solar system. They will gain access to and begin to reactivate the more refined extrasensory abilities which have atrophied because of misuse or non-use down through the many ages of incarnational experience. 
My brave friends, this is just a small overview of some of the higher teachings and information that await you as you refine your mental processes and integrate the higher frequencies of light of your approaching fifth dimensional environment. You cannot begin to comprehend what awaits you in the brave new world you are endeavoring to create and enjoy. Many of you, the star seed and way showers, came into this lifetime with your diamond core god cell more active than those still functioning within the third, lower fourth dimensional realms, and therefore you have had many more bursts of god conscious awareness over the past years. If you compare notes about your earlier experience with others, such as our beloved scribe, who fully transcribes our messages, you will find that you have had similar experiences throughout your lifetime. You are now aware that this is not a common occurrence for the average person who exists and functions within the distorted realms of the mass consciousness belief structure. What many of you are now experiencing, dear ones, is the transition of the final stages of the fourth dimensional realm. What is occurring at this time for many of you who are on the fast track of the ascension process, you are in the process of integrating the remaining facets of your higher self within the more refined levels of the fourth dimension. This activates many memories and feelings like a kaleidoscope of experiences from your ancient past within the higher realms. Over the past several years, we have been relaying to you the critical process you must go through in order to arrive at your programmed destination, the first subplane of the fifth dimension. You and other dedicated light bearers now have the ability to tap into the fifth and sixth dimensional cities of light in order to access and bring forth the God particles of love, light, called adamantine particles. These wondrous creator cells will further activate the etheric diamond core God cell that lies deep within your sacred heart center. This God cell contains the full measure of your divine birthright, all the attributes, qualities, and virtues of God consciousness available to humanity for this sub-universal experience. We encourage those of you who are new to the process to go into your personal pyramid of light in the fifth dimension. Lie on the crystal table as you envision the particles of light from the city of light over your area trickling down through the great double terminated crystal which hangs over you into your etheric body. Watch as it flows down the column of light which connects with your physical body, permeating every facet of your being down into your deepest cellular core and DNA. Then envision a portion of this wondrous elixir of love, light, life, flowing down into the core of your Mother Earth, assisting in her transformation process, and also flowing out into the world via your sacred breath. Know that before you embodied in your present physical vessel, you left an etheric replica of yourself on the crystal table within your personal fifth dimensional pyramid of light. If it is your desire, you may dedicate a portion of the adamantine particles that you have activated with your own love light to the world pyramid in the higher fifth dimension. Your blessed gift will be mixed with and melted with the love light gifts of others and used to create miracles of divine proportions for the greatest good of the earth, humanity and all creation. We are asking you to become a light beacon and a bearer of the new frequencies which will gradually sweep around the earth and into the hearts of all humanity. My steadfast friends, you can help transform your nation and the world. Be bold in your vision. See what is right in your world, thereby reinforcing the love, light that dwells within each and every person you meet. Do not focus on the shadows, for wherever you focus your attention that is what you reinforce and magnify. Your only true enemy is fear. Release the fear so that you may radiate the maximum amount of love, light, and then watch as the miracles unfold. What is your passion? What brings you joy and satisfaction? You can accomplish anything you can envision. This is a time of reclaiming your divine heritage, 
it is time to release and transmute or upgrade many of the old restricting thought forms and structures that you have accepted as your reality. If you will spend some time in meditation and contemplation, reviewing the structures you have created in your fourth dimensional reality, which includes mental, emotional, physical, and even some spiritual restrictions, you will quickly determine that it is time to release many of the ties that bind you so that you may move quickly into the expanded, empowering world of tomorrow. You are a master of manifestation on the higher realms and also on the physical plane of existence. You have just forgotten. Believe in yourself and cease creating those things that bring you pain, guilt, and suffering. Become a co-creator of the light, peace, balance, and harmony once more, so that you may assist in re-manifesting the pristine beauty of planet Earth. We of the angelic realms are here in great force to help you move through these times of evolution and great change with ease and grace. However, you must ask for our assistance, for we cannot infringe upon your free will. You have encoded within your sacred mind light packets of wisdom waiting to be brought forth and shared with others. You can achieve and become anything you can envision, so why not reach for the stars and your highest potential? Reclaim your rightful place as a master of light, dear one. Please remember, as you integrate the knowledge of spirit and illumined truth, we ask you to go forth and share your wisdom. We are ever near to guide, protect, and inspire you, but mostly to love you. I am Archangel Mikael. Thoughts to Ponder by Ranava Zane, Sacred Scribe. Serenity and joy are qualities of the soul, Intelligent love results when the soul becomes the dominating force within and the ego personality has been brought under control. When you successfully dissolve the membranes of light guarding the entrance to your sacred mind, you gain access to your personal storehouse of divine wisdom. You must keep the channel of communication open between the soul and the brain via the mind. This initiates the slow reactivation process of the pineal gland and the opening of the portal of the sacred mind, which is located at the back portion of the brain, close to the crown of the head. The sacred mind resonates to the highest fourth dimensional sublevels as well as several of the fifth dimensional levels, along with a small portion of the sixth dimensional frequency data, which are reserved for future use. However, you must gradually increase your own vibrational patterns in order to tap into the storehouse of cosmic wisdom. The sacred mind and the sacred heart are not made of material world matter. They consist of gossamer ethereal light substance that cannot be detected via scientific means. However, they are more real than any part of your physical body. For once you re-establish the connection between your sacred mind, your sacred heart, and your diamond core god cell, there will be a constant flow of adamantine particles as well as pertinent advanced information coming from your oversoul higher self and eventually from your fifth dimensional sacred triad. That is why it is so critical that you reconnect the sacred triad of God consciousness, the sacred mind, the sacred heart and all facets of your diamond core God cell. As you move into the vibrational patterns of the fifth dimension, your cells, etheric body, and auric field will begin an accelerated purification process. Tranquility begins in the lowest level of the fifth dimension and strengthens exponentially. Gaining godly power and wisdom requires that you move beyond the massive belief patterns of the collective consciousness of humanity into attunement with your galactic consciousness via the many facets of your higher self. Emotional stability and mental effort are required in order to successfully traverse the path of illumination. There is a law of equilibrium that applies to the fifth dimension and above. Love and angel blessings, Prana.